guys. We want to cook some barky chicken wings. First ingredient is red hot wing sauce. Okay. We just put that in here with a little bit, don't need a whole lot. And then we mix this up. Now I know it says on the label to put the sauce on last, but Marky likes to put it on first, so that is what I'm going to do. These are Marky wings. Marky's my little brother. He's an expert griller. But that's one of the things he's famous for, is his chicken wings. So we're going to do some chicken wings, Marky style. There you go. That's what they look like after they get coated. All right, I'm going to go out there and crank up the grill and get ready to cook these wings. Now, some people don't like to use lots of wings, but I found that they really do a good job distributing them. And they're easy to clean. You just clean off the top of it, and then when you put it back in, you turn it up the side. This was on the fire side before, and this will be on the fire side next. And this tray right here that it will collect all the ash, so it actually is not full enough to worry about, so I'm going to put it back in there. Just a little bit. Okay. I got the little heating unit in there. It takes uh, probably 10 minutes for it to start getting hot. And maybe by 15 minutes, I can get it up to uh, temperature and get ready to start cooking these wings. But anyway, this has been a lot of fun. I've cooked some good food on it, and it's a it's a great way to barbecue if you if you like the uh, the green egg type of barbecue. And this is a really good cooker it stays on temperature very easily and I've been enjoying the heck out of it now that's what those wings look like after you marinate them a little while now I'm going to put them on this cutting board Comes seasoning time. What we're going to season these with is just some uh, salt, pepper, and garlic. That's you as good a flavor as you can get. Put this on there. I like to flavor these just a little bit before you cook them and hopefully you're going to get some flavor uh, come in there. Okay, so to the meat. Okay, I got the grill back up. 300 degrees. Get out of your way. Let 
let you see this. And there you are, it's almost 300 degrees. And when you open these things, you gotta let them burp. Let that smoke go away from you or it'll overwhelm you sometimes. Now, I'm just gonna put my wings on here. Like I say, I only use the top, the top, uh, rack because there's no really any reason to put it on the bottom if they fit on the top. Okay. Over there you can see the ribs on the grill now. And we're ready to set our temperature and start cooking. Now what I like to do, you control the temperature with this top. And I put that to one. I, I, I think your temperature has changed a lot more by the top than it is the bottom. All right, now down here below, there's a one through five and five through 10. So when I start off, I just close her down straight up, be halfway probably. It is. So now I got it on halfway. Now what I want to do is get this thing set on 250 degrees and then leave it for two hours. So that's that's what my goal is. Right now we're 200 degrees. So it won't be long to get right up there to 250. And then I just I just shut her down and let her smoke. Uh, but you get a little bit of that uh, mesquite wood flavor in there, which I love mesquite. I lived in Texas for several years, and I got really used to eating mesquite stuff, and it's really good. My favorite wood, I guess you could say. But uh, and just watch this little needle till it gets up to 250, and then I start closing her down. So. All right, I'm gonna come back in two hours, maybe less. If I come out and check on them, I might come back, but we're ready to roll now, it's time. Matter of fact, that thing is right at temperature right now. So I'm gonna cut this one down one notch and let it sit there for just a minute. You, you can really tell when it stabilizes, no, no problem. But, so, I'm gonna tighten this one down just a little bit. Because I want as much smoke to stay in there as possible that boils around that, those chicken wings. But, all right, we're set to go. And I'll see you in two hours when I get this thing off the grill. came out for a quick check, sitting on about 240, opened her up just a tad on the top, get her back up to 250, one hour to go. We have cooked these chicken wings for two hours. And now we're going to check the temperature. Got my thermometer. See what they are. Ooh, they look good. Do 160 on the cooking. This is actually a little higher, but that happens, no problem. So now I'm going to shut all the heat down 
and these wings are ready to come off. So I'm going to get me a platter and I'm going to retrieve these wings. Okay, our wings are completed. Mm -hmm. We cooked them for two hours on the coals. Delicious. Now mm. I am going to let my sweet wife mm -hmm. try these. Yeah. Wait a minute. I'm going to give you one. Thank you. There you go. Mm -hmm. See what you think. Ooh. Oh, smells good. good. Yeah, good. delicious. Yeah. Try you it. eat that one. I'm going to mm. eat another one. Mm. Very nice. No. Mm. Very good, huh? Very good. Yeah. Mm. Very good. Yeah, delicious. Yeah, very nice. All right, I got to try one. I mm -hmm. can't let her have all the fun. Mm -hmm. But you can see these these wings are very nice color and done this. Tender off the bone. Mm-hmm. Mm, nice spicy. Perfect one. Yeah. Don't you agree? Yeah. Mm. Wow, so good. Yeah. So anyway, this is Marty Weeds. Very good, Marky. Really like these wings. Mmm. Mm. So, hope everybody enjoyed this video, and I'm gonna keep them coming. Bye.